Deepwoken has completely destroyed the PvE experience. Here's why. Hey there fellow gamers. Today we're delving into the controversy surrounding Deepwoken and asking the burning question. Have the devs truly ruined PvE forever? Get ready for some shocking revelations. For those unfamiliar, Deepwoken has been in a beloved game renowned for its immersive PvE experience. But many problems have left players divided and concerned about the future of the game. Let's unpack what's been going on. Deepwoken is a highly versatile game with PvP and PvE aspects. There are many PvE aspects, rewarding in its own way such as rewarding gear or EXP. Harder bosses equal better rewards in Deepwoken, and most of these bosses can be found in an area called the Depths. This area has some risk involved, being that if you die, you lose your slot, which is considered wiping. There is a main problem that many players face. Deepwoken PvE is just too easy. Supposedly hardest bosses in the game are way too easy for the average player. Players are voicing their frustrations and disappointment over the direction the game is heading in. This sprouts another problem. There's literally no risk involved in deep broken other than players. Risk in earlier stages of Deep Woken was what made the game unique from other games, and most importantly, what made it fun. Let's dig into the specific aspects of PvE that have negatively impacted the environment. New bosses and changes in them have no difference in many players feeling bored with the once thriving PvE experience. New bosses add a stir in the community for a few days, but then people just learn how to do them. There is little to no risk involved whatsoever. Within the first release of Layer 2, players figured out how to complete the entirety of Layer 2 within a week. This is proof that PvE in Deepwoken is just way too easy to learn. Now it's time for my opinion on the matter. Is Deepwoken PvE actually too easy? Well buckle up as I unravel my take on whether new PvE bosses are a step in the right direction or a misstep that's shaking the core of the game. I think that yes, PvE is way too easy. I personally can beat Chaser one of the hardest bosses in the game, with a mere stiletto. Adding bosses to Deepwoken does not increase the variety, because the players are just going to learn how to do it. That's why I think the devs should add something random, PvE wise, that players cannot fully master. The addition of the Deluvian mechanism was a good step in this direction, but ultimately, Players just learned how to do it. To wrap it up, the future of PvE in Deepwoken seems uncertain as players grapple with the aftermath of these divisive changes. The community is left wondering if the game will ever return to its former glory or if this is indeed the beginning of the end for PvE enthusiasts. What are your thoughts on the recent developments in Deep Oaken's PvE? Share your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more gaming content. Let's keep the discussion going and stay tuned for future updates on the evolving world of Deep Oaken. Thanks for watching. Peace.